This is a demonstration on how to basically put conversion tracking from Google on your page uh, for each of your links on your hosting uh, website. Um, but it's going to we're going to use the C panel, okay, as a uh, page to uh, or as the editor to put on the page. So right now we're going to use this website. And it's called bestitemsforyou.com forward slash paid surveys. And then you could see this is where I'm going to uh, use it as an example. Now, right now, there's an actual um, um, page called paid surveys. And we need to go into the C panel and look for express pay. Now, for each of the links on your page, you have to create a separate page for itself. So for this example, I'm going to we're going to use Express Pay Surveys. And then in the C panel, you can see that I created a page called Express Pay because I know what it is. And it's pretty easy to create a file in File Manager. You just have to go here on the top left where it says New File, and then it will basically just ask you, uh, what do you, what's the new file name, and then where do you want to put it? And then you just click on Create New File, and then it will end up just right here. So first we'll go to Google AdWords for in the conversion tracking tool and then create new action. And then you're going to name it whatever the product is. In this case, Express Pay Surveys. Okay? And then we're going to go to the action is used for tracking. We're going to go into view of a key page. Um, just, just so we can keep track of when someone comes to your site after they click on the, the ad uh, campaign in Google. We want to measure which of the links that are on your page are being clicked on. And Google will call that a conversion because it will go right to the affiliate product or the pitch page that you're promoting on your website. Okay. Now the revenue of your action here is basically is how much are you getting from that actual affiliate product. So if that affiliate product that you're promoting on your page pays you $25, then Google is going to assume that it converted and it's going to basically – uh, consider it a conversion. But we're only going to use it for tracking purposes. We're not going to uh, keep track money-wise because people still have to buy it once they go to the pitch page or the actual affiliate product. So after we leave that blank and then just leave it in the conversion page for English, uh, conversion page security level, we don't have to put anything there, and then we can go ahead and click on Save Action. When you click on Save Action, it's going to give you code that you need to place on that special page that we created just for this alone. So now, now that we got our code, we go into our C panel, we select the file we created, we go into edit and click on edit. And here is the raw HTML code. Now the conversion tracking code is going to go in between the body tags. Here's the first body tag, and here's the end of it. And you can see the end of it has a forward slash. And what you want to do is highlight everything in between, delete it. And sometimes when you create a new page, there's nothing there. In this case, it did. So anything in between the body tags, you basically paste your, uh, your, your conversion code from Google. The second part that you need to look into is by adding a meta refresh tag in between the head, not the body tags, but the head tags. Okay. Um, this is makes makes it easier because we already added the um, the refresh tag, and then basically it'll go to the product. And since I already know this person's uh, affiliate link from ClickBank. I just go ahead and just enter his ClickBank ID in the hop link product. Okay, so two things are going to happen. Google is going to uh, keep track of the conversion by putting it into your Google AdWords uh, account, and then basically it will redirect to the actual product. Okay, when that happens, then you just on the right-hand side, you're going to see where it says Save Changes, so you save changes. And we're going to go back to file managers just to go back. And at that point, we got Express Pay. 
index.html already saved. Two more steps. After you inserted your uh, conversion tracking code, you go to return to conversion tracking code, and then you see it listed. But now it's asking to verify the action. So what we do is click on verify action, and then we give the URL to the actual page, expresspay.html. So in this case, we're going to type out the entire website name. Um, best items for you.com forward slash paid surveys because that's the directory where the file is at forward slash remember the name of that file expresspay.html in this case so we go back to our AdWords expresspay.html and then we go and check URL and then basically Google will tell us that it's active, meaning that when somebody clicks on one of the links on this page, I'll refresh it before I go and do anything else, what's going to happen is it'll Google will track it and it'll redirect to the actual product page using that person's affiliate link. And you can see right here it's redirecting me to that page. And that's how you install conversion tracking using the cPanel. Okay? And hopefully, um, well, the page is not loading, but I can show you the other um, example here. I did it in another link earlier. Um, this was already installed. You could see on the bottom here that, on the bottom left there, you'll see that it, it'll redirect to the HTML page and then from there it'll redirect to the product just like that so that's how conversion tracking works and what's going to end up happening in your Google AdWords account is every time somebody clicks on one of your links on a page it'll redirect them to the affiliate product but using the HTML that was created within your actual cPanel hosting account. So hopefully this explains how to use conversion tracking with Google. It's a very useful uh, way of to, uh, keeping track of your, of your um, traffic and which links people are clicking on on your page. So hopefully this uh, makes it easy for you to uh, install conversion tracking in your Google AdWords account. If you have any questions, just contact your internet marketing coach. And um, um, this is a push traffic tutorial. Thank you.